This morning in our series, The Dish, we meet a restaurateur and a former master sommelier behind one of Chicago's hottest restaurants. Alpa Nassim has been working in the industry for decades, mostly helping diners pick the perfect wine. But recently, she decided to cross into the kitchen. Adriana Diaz caught up with the self-described curator of all things delicious and mm -hmm. even got some wine tips you might not expect. The vibe at one of Chicago's newest restaurants is fierce feminine energy. Yes, yeah, so we Gaga. have Lady Gaga, Frida Kahlo, Madonna, Elizabeth Taylor. Blake Owner Johnson. Alpina Singh is paying tribute to women doing things on their own terms. I ordered six bottles so we can at least try it. Maybe. Which is exactly what the wine expert is doing at her aptly named Alpina. The sommelier's job is to find the wine that best pairs with what the chef creates. But it was never our job to go into the kitchen. It was almost considered disrespectful. This didn't go yet, right? But she's breaking industry rules, creating the dishes herself with confidence that came from cooking during quarantine. My friends, they were like, wow, this is really good. You should put this on the menu. Did it feel almost like you were not staying in your lane? Yeah, you know, I had a... I, I, approached a couple of my friends about like, well, who's going to be the chef? I'm like, we don't have a chef. And they thought I was crazy. But I think part of me really changed after the pandemic. I think we saw a lot of Americans that are like, you know what? It's either now or never. The California native moved to Chicago 20 years ago with just a few boxes of books and clothes and Rose, owning multiple restaurants and hosting the iconic Chicago restaurant here. show, Check Please. Take us through, if you're going to Gogi, how should we order? Are you recognized on the street? Um, I, I do get recognized. I always get check wine. <laughs> <laughs> she says her food was inspired, of course, by wine. This Pinot Noir and mushrooms are like peanut butter and jelly. They love each other. <laughs> <laughs> Dishes like the popular crispy polenta and mushrooms are comforting yet complex. The mushroom, like, it pops more. Just kind of like took over when Correct. I had the wine. Then there's the delicate tuna crudo, meant to shape shift based on the wine pairing. Mm. And then go back with some of it still in your mouth. Okay. And then go with the Riesling. Creates oh, this wow. sensation of different flavors. It's like waves of flavors, like the ocean. Yes, where you don't know where the tuna starts and the wine ends. It's sort of a seamless pairing. For your perfect pairing, Singh shared some sommelier secrets. I love my guacamole and chips, but it's even better with a glass of Sauvignon Blanc because the Sauvignon Blanc acts like lime juice over the guacamole. Because of the acidity. The acidity, so it kind of brings it alive. And then with red wine, here's an easy tip. Turn the wine on its side. If you can see through it, then you can pair it with things like fish. Singh was introduced to the restaurant world by her parents, ethnically Indian immigrants from the Fiji Islands. Her father was a dishwasher, her mother a server, and it wasn't a path they envisioned for her. I will say that when I told my mom I wanted to become a master sommelier, she says, oh, I am so excited. So tell me, what part of the body does the sommelier specialize in? What part of the body? Yeah, she thought it was a medical <laughs> specialty. I had to bring it to her that it was drinking. <laughs> Singh pursued a spot with the country's most prestigious and competitive wine organization. So I thought, okay, well, this exam has a pass rate of 3%. Why not me? And I think that sentence right there is what launched my career. Why not why me? Why not me? All of the greats say why, why not, not me. me. She passed at just 26, becoming the youngest and first woman of color to earn the title Master Sommelier. I got a lot of accolades for being young, and I'm very grateful for that. But let's face it, they don't hand out 40 over 40 awards. We live in a society that tends to focus and celebrate youth, particularly with women, and then we kind of disappear from 40 until about 80, and then we become a national treasure. <laughs> you know, so, you know, there's a lot of work to be done between 40 and 80, and in fact, some of our best work. She says her best work yet is at Alpena, which is not just her name, it's also her neighborhood. How are you? How are you feeling, Betty? You look great. Uh, your son came in for dinner, your son and your daughter-in-law. But we see the color on it. Now she's adding teacher to her plate with wine education classes for her staff. I see my dad in all of their faces. I see my mom in all of our servers. Having a Barolo with a white flesh fish would not go. 
That was like the, one of the main reasons that I wanted to work here, the wine program and just Alpina herself. Other women come up to me and I said, you know, I read about your story, I heard about you, and I thought, wow, maybe I could do that. And this is how we start changing the face of what it means to have sort of a, you know, a stereotypical just one group doing a profession. You know, it's because we all said, why not me, and decided to put ourselves in the ring. And that, I kid you not, it will mean something to somebody eventually. For CBS Mornings, Adriana Diaz, Chicago. Love everything about that yes. woman. I love her confidence. I, I see why the, she's the curator of all things delicious. Yeah. Now, I don't drink, but it seemed like she was giving good advice about the wine, John. Turn to the side if it's red and you can see through it. And the parents are perfect. I think right. she should tell her, her mother the sommelier specializes in the heart. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yes. There you go. That's what wine is good for. We'll be right back. Nicely done. I want to go there.